Hey everyone, sorry for the hiatus, kind of took a little time away, but um, I am going to be building the, finally building the uh, Super Scroll. I did pick up two more build of fear pieces. Uh, I am waiting on the other leg from doc another Doctor Doom. I didn't buy another Doctor Doom, I just bought the leg. It was only like eight bucks on eBay. Um, still waiting for that to come in the mail, so this one will not have be fully complete, but I figured I'll build these two since, um, yeah, since they are here. But man, oh man, did you guys see uh, the Sentinel? I mean, looks so cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and start building. Uh, I, I'm very impressed with that Sentinel. I don't, I don't know how you guys feel, but I'm very, very happy with it. I think he looks great. Um, I did end up pre-ordering one. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a second one. I would love to, but it was with California taxes and everything, he came out to be uh, 377 so it was it was a good majority of my I have a separate little toy fund that I have away from so it doesn't take away obviously from family money money um, geez what's going on here but uh, yeah that pretty much pretty much drained it and plus I heard they are still going to be doing I'm going to do this on my own I heard that also they're going to be doing still comic-con exclusive so it's it's going to be an expensive summer more expensive than I was expecting it to be. Um, but luckily that Sentinel looks really cool. It's huge. And I just wasn't, um, I'm kind of glad it was, I was expecting it to be like 500. That's what my guess. Cause I knew it was going to be probably a Hascon. Um, it's kind of funny. They named it a build a figure when really it's not, you're not really building him. I guess unless they ship him in pieces, um, in a box, maybe that saves space, uh, with them on shipping. I don't know. We'll have to see. But it's already gotten up to what 4,800 backers. So hopefully, we'll see what those other um, accessories they said. So I'm gonna go get these legs on off camera, so you're not staring at me struggling with these. And then uh, we'll get into the scroll, and I'll stop yapping about that sentinel. I just think he looks amazing. <laughs> there we go. Both guys are somewhat done, right? All right. So first up, we'll go ahead and go over the details. So I'll start off with the guy that's actually complete. It does come with one little accessory, just that flame. It definitely reminds me of the old Fantastic Four Toy Biz uh, Super Scroll. So you see he's got the translucent flame. It's really nice. Um, just kind of clips on, not super tight, uh, but just kind of goes into the lighter orange and into the red. But it's got a good, good torch effect. It does the job, but it just kind of sits there. But if you shake them hard enough, it will definitely uh, pop off and just go fully around, obviously. But doesn't look bad. All right, so first up, we'll go over the head sculpt. It's a good head sculpt. I chose this one to go on this body since he's more kind of transforming. Um, it's got more of an angry uh, face. So I figured since he's getting ready to fight, I thought the angry face looked better than the smiley face. Uh, so I figured the smiley face looked good with the regular body. But overall, I think it's a really nice dark green. It's got yellow eyes, looks good. I like all the lining on his uh, chin there. And he's got the nice pointy ears. Overall, it's a clean paint job. It does kind of have a little bit of a black wash kind of over the skin, so it gives it some more lights and darker greens in there. It looks really good. And the top of his head is just the nice black, but now the black is bleeding into the green or anything like that. Side of the ears look good. And rotate them around. You can see it's just nice and smooth. Otherwise, it just continues with that dark, uh, almost like a dark blue, depending on the lighting. It looks black in certain ways to me, but it's definitely, I think, a darker blue. Um, then it goes into the purple body, but it's more of a darker purple and it kind of lightens up and then it looks like Thing's arm here. It's really cool. You can see all the rocks. It's just got a nice fist, three fingers there. It's very cool. I like this arm, how it goes into like the light uh, purple right into the translucent uh, clear. And I like how you can see all the pins and the joints inside. I think this looks really good. It's just a nice big old fist, like Invisible Woman or like, <laughs> that's kind of what it reminds me of. It looks really cool. And it continues with that dark purple, I mean darker blue into the darker purple and into those little boots. Overall, I mean, it's really nice. Uh, it does have the little shoulder points and then they are kind of pliable. Same thing as the ears, they're pretty pliable. And then going into the regular one, it's just got a nice smile. You can see his nice white teeth. Looks pretty creepy. The yellow eyes and then he's just got the regular arms with two fists which is cool i like that and then over his arms got one invisible leg here and then it's got the other 
regular lake. But overall, I think these are really cool. And it's kind of, it's pretty quick to build the second piece, especially if you collected the wave and you have those extra arms and extra head. Um, the body here is kind of like the, it seems like the body and the Mr. Fantastic legs, leg is the more harder piece. The Dr. Doom leg is all over eBay and it ranges from like $8 up to 12 bucks. So, I mean, it's, it's worth picking up. That one's pretty easy. I thought that one would be harder because it's Dr. Doom's piece, but I guess not. It's more of these two are a little more pricier. Um, so you're actually, to me, you may be better off just forking up the extra money or waiting for those Mr. Fantastic Invisible Woman to go on sale on Amazon or just keep a lookout. But I mean, to me, it was a quick, easy, uh, go ahead and, well, not easy, but quick, you know, build another figure of him, which is cool because it's a good army builder. I'm going to articulation so I don't ramble on forever and keep you guys here. Looks left and right, looks up. Good, look down, very fine. And he's got ball joints in the shoulders to move out, down, forward, and back. He's got an upper bias up swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist rotation, also a hinge at the wrist. Does have a nice ab crunch there. He's got a weight and he arches back pretty far. He's got a waist swivel on this arm, same thing. It's got an upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, also a rotation at the wrist and a hinge at the wrist. Such a cool looking figure. Um, he kicks up pretty high, spreads, actually almost does the splits, pretty crazy. Don't see that too often here. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. One thing I do like, sorry, I'm gonna go on a ramble. Uh, this peg here, I, I like that it has a peg just for the sure fact that it kind of pegs in there and it feels like the leg's not gonna come out as easy compared to other builder figures that have mainly just a longer, thicker piece. I don't know, just me. So double jointed knees, Boot rotation, ankles move down, they move up. He does have nice ankle rockers and peggles the bottom of his feet. All right, I'll show you guys how tall the Super Scroll is and we'll get into the fun comparisons. All right guys, so Super Scroll stands a little under seven inches tall. Here he is next to the Hasbro two pack with the Kree Soldier, which is just a redecoed um, Toy Biz with a little bit less detail on the face, but still a very cool Super Scroll. Here he is, also next to the Has the Toy Biz Fantastic Four Classics Super Skull, which is my favorite. That one's so cool. Um, great amount of detail. I definitely will do a comparison so you guys can see them up close in the f in, you know, kind of next to the heads side by side. And here is also the Fantastic Four Classics Clear Variant Super Scroll. I sadly do not have the Flame or Fire uh, variant. I always planned to get him, never could find him for a good deal, and now he's just crazy expensive. So who knows if I'll ever see him. If I see him at a toy show, maybe I'll get him. But I thought these are, these two are pretty cool, good comparisons with this just because of the two different arms. So first up, we'll do the facial comparisons of all the scrolls, and then we'll kind of do a little more just comparing of the Toy Biz ones. So you can definitely see the difference. Just ones, I, I still like this head sculpt a lot more. Um, it's definitely more broad, or this one's kind of more human size to me, but I just really like how these ones turned out. And here he is next to the Toy Biz one. You can definitely see they're very similar greens. Uh, he's definitely a darker green, but you can just see the overall wash detail on the Toy Biz one along with the eyes. You can see the creepy eyes. He's got red with the yellow and the black pupils where this is just solid yellow, but very cool. But you can definitely see the difference in uh, paint applications. Same thing on the chest here. It's got a mix of blacks and uh, blues and even on the purple. Oops, there goes the accessory, but you can kind of see the difference in the arms. And these are, you can see the flames are translucent. They're sculpted on. And you can kind of see the black wash over more thing arm compared to this one. But you can kind of, you see a good comparison there. And then here he is next to the clear one, same figure. You can just kind of see that clear. Um, the other arm that they come with, I don't have a clear complete one, sadly, but it, the other arm is a fisted arm with no articulation at all, but it just kind of plugs, you just pull it from the bicep down and it plugs in. But this one only has the other arm. But it's cool because these were fun. I'm gonna go on a ramble, I know a lot of you guys don't watch to the end, but what was fun about these is you can interchange pieces. So if you had the clear one, you could pop on one of these arms and it just kind of made the Super Scroll look all kind of goofy, but not goofy, but 
like he's swap. I don't know, swapping out parts. I always think it's fun when you can swap out parts. Anyway, there you go, guys. That's my review on the Super Scroll Build a Figure. I think he's cool. It's definitely worth getting, uh, especially if you've already started completing the wave. I think it's a good build a figure. Um, I like that they give you so many extra parts to where you only need about three more pieces to complete another one, which is nice. Usually, especially with the army builder, builder figures, it's, um, it just makes it that much easier. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on the Sentinel. I may bring that up again in another video. I definitely plan on reviewing the days of future past Sentinel now. Now, after seeing that, it's gotten me kind of all ready for it, even though it's a year from now, it's going to feel like forever. Up next will be the wave overview of the Super Scroll wave, and then I'll probably be doing the Sentinel or the Walmart exclusive Black Widow. Well, we'll see. All right, guys. And thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Take care. Bye.